Hey everyone, this is Vishwanath Pratap Singh. So today we are going to solve an one of the easiest problem, uh, even some problem. Okay, but it is little bit medium problem, but yeah, it's still easy. Okay, so what we are given in this problem that we are given an array of n integers. Okay, and what we have to do in this array is that there are two players which are taking their turns of placing their sign, placing signs like sign plus and minus before those integers okay and then they are adding all them and uh, getting a resultant sum okay and what they are doing then that they are comparing that sum and if that sum is even so player one wins and if that sum is not even it means it is if it is odd so player two wins and what we are given all the elements must be assigned a sign okay this is the given condition so there, here we are having some test cases okay so this is the kind of input okay so let's move to a, a small description of this problem okay so what we are given that they are yes they are doing alternatively turns okay all the integers are added and then first player wins if the resulting is sum is even and if it is not even so yeah definitely two wins okay so what is the input that firstly we have to enter 10 test cases and then we have to enter the size of the array then n separated size uh, I, I mean sorry n separated integers okay and in output what we have to print that if one if the first person's win and how first person wins that we have to compare that if, if that sum is even of those numbers according to the combinations of their signs so first person wins otherwise second person all wins definitely okay so here you can see in this one that for the first input what it has given that there are two in two n integers okay one and two and it has sh shared something like this that yes suppose that one is uh, for firstly it is given that for both of them the sign is plus okay so the resultant is three which is e which is odd okay so here two person two wins okay so and in the next one minus one is taken and plus two is taken and the resultant is one so here in this case person one is winning sorry person two is again winning here in this case because this is again odd okay and in the next case this is it has taken first two and one after that okay the first person here it has taken two and the second person has taken one and the resultant is still three it means both are same it doesn't matter who is taking what okay and in the next test case what they have taken that they have taken minus two first person took minus two and the second person took plus one and the result is minus one okay so they are just comparing some signs okay so we, we just need to compare some signs for ideal case also okay so let's i am just giving an example here but how we can do here for example i am taking five inputs okay one two three four and five okay so for better understanding firstly what we will do that firstly i will assign the all all these integers plus sign okay one plus two plus three plus four plus five so what will be our resultant our resultant will be 15 okay which is an even which is an odd number okay so it means here two wins player two wins here okay and in the next case test case if we are taking like plus one and then we are taking minus two okay then again alternatively we are taking plus one okay sorry not plus one plus three and then minus four and then plus five so here our output will be what three only three you can calculate this okay we will get three and here what again our player two wins as you can see this number is odd okay and in the next test case we are taking like minus one then plus two then minus three then plus four then minus five as it is just an reverse of it so we will just get an, an a reverse output of it it means like uh, we will get minus three here and here also again player two wins okay and if we are taking all of them minus okay minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five so in the resultant what we will get we will get alternatively minus five oh sorry minus 15 okay which is again an odd number so here the player 2 again wins so if we are okay so here you can see that like this we have to do okay but we cannot compare all the things means 
it is not possible for us it is possible but it is it, it will be a little bit complicated that if we will compare every sign for everyone so here let's we find a, a small sample test case okay i, I mean for for uh, we, we will be finding here for ideal case okay for example we are taking five and here now i'm taking small numbers okay like a b c d and e these are five numbers okay and if i am checking for these numbers so what i will get here actually is for example for the first test case for the first case i am using here plus a then plus b then plus c then plus d plus e okay this is what as the let, let us take it as the sum okay whatever if it is if it is even so definitely it will be person one wins and if it is not even so person second wins okay and for the second test case what we have to take that we have to take plus a then minus b then minus c sorry not minus c plus c then minus d then plus e okay so friends can we write this thing as like a minus b it means complete sorry a minus b plus c minus d plus e and we will again write plus d sorry plus b then minus b and plus d and minus d okay this is same because the resultant of this is zero and this is this is already something else i, I mean this is the, the uh, other condition for us which we have to take okay so can we write this like let me just do it okay can we write it a plus b plus c plus d plus e okay then minus 2b then minus 2d okay because here one is minus for us here one is my here one d one b minus here one b minus so it is becoming 2b okay and here one b plus so we are just replacing with this b okay and here again same for d okay so we have got this one and can we write this thing as like a plus b plus c plus d plus e and here is minus 2 into b plus d so what is the so we are what we are doing in this case that we are just degree we are just subtra subtracting the an even number okay we are subtracting an even number okay so in this case it de to completely depends on the what the sum is here you can see that sum is equal to 1 plus b plus c plus d plus e okay this is the sum so here we can change can change this replace this with sum okay we have to calculate this and then we have to check whether the sum is even or not and on the basis of that we will get the answer okay and if we are comparing it for the third test case for example plus not plus plus but minus a plus b minus c plus d and then minus e and again it is just minus of it okay it is just a minus of sum let's say not not minus of sum but if we are comparing this at a plus b plus c plus d plus e if we are writing like that so here we are having how many minus we are having three minus a c and e okay so what we will write minus 2 into a plus b plus c no not a plus b plus c but a plus c plus e okay here we are having this and we can also write this as these sum minus sorry sum minus 2 into a plus a plus c plus e okay so what we are doing here we are again just subtracting the sum of it well, i mean uh, an even number here we are again subtracting even number from the sum of the all these n integers or five integers okay so this is our ideal case that always we will just be subtracting an even number from the to sum total okay in every case we will be just doing this thing so what we have to calculate now we have to calculate the sum and we have to check whether the sum is equal to even or uh, that sum is even or not okay we have we just have to check this thing for example in this case if we, if you will just compare the this thing that yes that yes if the its sum is even or not 
for example it's it is resulting 15 for and then for if it is resulting in the 15 so it will give every the output as they that two has been that if it is odd that so that that just mean that two no, person two has won the case okay won the game so here in this case you can also check all these things okay it has just taken the uh, for one and two okay so if we will compare that one and two yeah here if we will give that two minus two into one so it will just result in that thing okay so what we have to do we just have to compare the sum of it so let's move to the solution of it okay so here we are having the solution okay so because this our here we are having that we are given that the every integer of a is 10 raised to power 9 and for storing 10 raised to power 9 we cannot store it in an integer so that's why we are taking l here i have taken here i have root ll and this ll is what the long long okay i have just defined it as ll okay and here firstly i have taken the t test cases and if you are not able to see this let me give it bigger okay so here are these t test cases and every time it is decreasing okay so sum is equal to for at the starting of each test case the sum is zero and after that we are decla declaring an x okay then we are inserting a size of it then we are again using while loop for inserting the size and then we are calculating the sum and at the last what we are doing that we are just comparing the sum whether it is equal to zero or not if it is equal to zero so we will be printing I mean it means it, it's mod is equal to zero it means if it is even so we will be just printing that one and then end line and if it is not even so we will be printing two here okay for example if we will check for all these conditions so let just me let me just copy all these conditions okay and if i am here i am just running this one so what i have got wait let me just restart this thing yeah here i have restarted it and here i have entered so this is the thing that wait just wait that for one and two what we are getting that the sum of it is three and is three is odd so who is winning that two number two is winning the second person is winning and in this case in the the number of integers the size of the array is three and the sum of these integers one two and three is four and four is an even number so yes one is winning okay and four two one in the in this case four two one is seven okay so and seven is an odd number so number two is winning okay so this is how you can do this problem if you wanted to solve this okay then what you can do that you just need to submit here you can easily submit this thing i have already submitted this thing so i will not be submitting it again okay so thank you very much really it's interesting problem so if you will solve this by your own it's damn good but if you will if you wanted to check the solution i will definitely provide the solution of it in the description okay so thank you very much everyone for watching this video thanks a lot